Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Lone Star, a sort of dice-based strategy roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out again here today. I played the demo about three months ago. I went in not expecting a whole lot. I came out completely blown away. I don't know. It was really, really good. So excited to be back, checking it out again now that it is out in early access. So let us pop on in, see what it's all about. Dear Bounty Hunter, you're about to embark on a journey of bounty hunting, yes, to enjoy the premium services of the Bounty Hunter Association, and to your basic information. So we're picking our spaceship, we've only got the shielder right now at level 5, we unlock a different one, again, it is early access, I think they're going to add more. Uh, choose a pilot, currently in early access, I think there's 34 different pilots, maybe more, maybe a little less. Uh, but for this first run, I do believe we have to pick this one, who has the talent of gaining max HP and max fuel at the start of the game. So that is obviously the one we're going to take, and we are going to embark. Out we go. But while you may look at this ship, and I know in the last video people said, it's just FTL, but it actually has very little to do with FTL. It is in space. You do have fuel, and the ship visually looks a little bit similar, but it's actually, if there's anything it's close to, it's dicey dungeons in a in a surprising way. But here's a quick tutorial from the Bounty Hunter Association. Let me see. There's a criminal nearby. Go catch him for your first reward. All right. So there is nothing special about him. We're just going to go ahead. Okay. So maybe there'll be a tutorial to explain it here. Yeah, we have our dice down here. Boop. And we put them up in here. So in a game like Dicey Dungeons, you have an equipment kind of inventory. And then you have dice. So, the dice in this game are not... The reason I say it's sort of a dice game... We have energy. It's not your standard 1 through 6 dice. They are going to have different maximums, different colors, things like that. We are going to take them and we're going to slot them into these. And they will do different things depending on what we put in them. The enemies are trying to attack us from all three of these categories right here. Or all three of these uh, uh, rows. And they are attacking with 4 power, 2 power, 4 power. So what we do is we try and have a bigger power in that lane. Simple as that, basic core. So what do we got here? When loading two energy of the same point, gain two strength. Strength basically is the amount of damage you do. So this is the most effective use of the twos. It lets us win this lane. You have two power, I have six. So we're winning it by four. And then we have this three down here. We can't win both of the side lanes. That's basically what he's saying. The three columns of numbers represent your strength, the outcome, enemy strength. The outcome is the absolute difference between the strength of both sides. So yeah, basically what I just explained right there. And we're going to be taking one damage, which will go to our shield, because we have a little bit of shield, four shields before our HP. I believe that resets each combat, but then we're also going to be doing four to them. Cool. Also, just that visual is fun. The attack units will convert energy points into strength in the same column. The support units produce various supporting effects. You can differentiate between the two types based on the icon color in the upper right of the corner of the unit. You can only load energy whose color outgrades that of the current slot. So if it's just these ones right here, we can put in the white energy. More powerful than that is blue. So we can put a blue in a blue slot or a white slot. And orange is the most powerful. You can put it in anything. So what do we got? After loading an energy, generate another energy that is one point higher than the loaded one. So we can pop that in here to get the three, which will make it so we can, um, I mean, I guess technically we could even just, we could win a row. Boop. Boop. I could like super win the middle, I suppose, right? If we're feeling crazy, like that's just something you could do. Uh, okay, so I know that later in the game you'll get the ability to undo. I just wanted to see what that was like, but we don't have the undo right now. But hey, we, we come out totally fine. We're only losing our shields. You can consume fuel to move your ship upwards or downwards. You have one chance per turn to do it. After every battle, a certain amount of fuel will be restored. Experienced bounty hunters will use movement to avoid enemies' very strong columns. So yeah, we can do that. Whoop. We can just go... Scoot on up, unless I feel like I can beat a 9 with the basic core, which is not possible. So we do that. The thing is, we can't do anything in this lane. 
because it's going to miss. But... Wait, hold on. Don't we actually... Can't we store energy? Can we store energy between turns? I feel like you might be able to. You can. That's right. Okay. All right. So we got a four... So we could just, uh, we could win this, and then what we could actually do is pop in a four and a four. We have lethal, and we could just, for good measure, we'll shoot a little laser off the edge. Just for fun. Alright, but that's the, that's the gist of the game. So, like I said, there's like 30-something characters that all have their own unique effects, though. There's the two ships, at least two ships, there might be more, actually that show up after. I don't know. Uh, and it gets crazy because you can modify your dice pool, your energy pool, so that they have different effects to them. They're more likely to be orange or they're, you know, different number ranges, things like that. And the equipment can obviously get really wild as well to make some crazy effects. Pure white core. Whenever you load a white energy, this gains two strength. So it's kind of like a really nice catch-all. It's a safe bet. After loading an energy, generate one orange three-point energy. That's pretty good. So it can take an orange and it can take a white. That's pretty good. I'll take the utility. Obtained units will need to be equipped to your ship to be brought to the next battle. The total weight of equipped units cannot exceed the ship's weight limit. Click and drag it onto your ship. So this is the thing we have. We can like just slot these around so you know maybe we want for some reason we want both of these in the same row instead of the ability to attack in all the rows but we're just going to put this down the position on that one doesn't really matter after work you can enjoy the vacation days offered by the association vacation planets are marked with different types of events that you'll encounter and the days required usually longer vacation events tend to be more valuable so we can get fuel I mean, I think that it might um, it might be like a fuel maximum, possibly. We have two vacation days. Hit me with an unknown. A bear folk space courier knocks on your spaceship's window, claiming that he's holding the parcel for you. But the information does not seem to match. He asks you what your name is. Uh, my name is Attack Unit. <laughs> Leader fuck. Uh... You make up a random name, and the absent-minded courier says that the name on the parcel matches yours and hands over the parcel to you. When you open it, you find a pure white core inside. Great. So we'll slap that in here, I think. The question is if I want to do this instead. Probably, because this has two slots. Uh, Great Wall. No special anything we have to worry about. Sometimes they have some special effects. Oh boy. Enemy ships have durability and winning a showdown in every column. In every column reduces the durability by one point. When it reaches zero, they are stunned, basically. Common strategies for bounty hunters claim victory. Okay, so I think I'm going to upgrade that to a three. I do want to... Let's see. I don't think I need to move or anything. But if I did, what would I do? So we have the three and the three, but I feel like that's a little bit goofy. This is the pure... Yeah, this is the white core, so we can put in a two. When you, Whenever you load a white energy, get two strength, so put in a two. It gets an extra two. It's doing four. I think we just, uh, do we need to win in every? At the end of each showdown, one point of durability is reduced for each failed column. For each failed column. So I could bump this up, but I actually think it might be better to keep it where it is. So yeah, it loses two durability, so we just need to win uh, the two durability last time, or next time. I still don't have the undo. It might be later since we're technically in the tutorial, but it's one of those games where the tutorial is not that annoying because you can do what you want in it still. Let's turn that into a three. I think we upgraded to a four. 
Ooh, we actually are. We, we probably want to move. Unless. I mean, like, I don't have to. I don't have to, but we can do some pretty criminal stuff here. All right. We'll be good. We'll be good. If we can keep on uh, tying, you know, it. I could think about the long term by just being safe here. All right, this is fine. Give me that three. Generate an orange three-point energy using an orange feels odd. I know that we're going to be able to upgrade these in the future, so maybe we can, like, make it so it can take another uh, white one instead. We have a three of three. Should we just, like, blow them the hell up? We blow them the hell up no matter what. This is a safer way to blow them the hell up. We didn't get the uh, the shield breaks, but that's okay. We played completely safely. We never took a shield hit, so it's like, what do you what do you want, right? What are you buying? What are you selling? If the energy is loaded in, wait. If the energy to be loaded into this is the last one in hand, generate an energy. Eh. Initiate one. Clicking on a unit will trigger its initiate effect and put it on cooldown. The number, it's, okay. Number represents the cooldown. Every turn, generate one, one, wait. One white, one point energy is actually very good for us. This has a weight of one. If I feel like I can um, drop that off, we're good. I don't know if I feel like I can, though. Treasure, star coin, unknown. We have four vacation days. 60% chance to get a rare treasure or get a common. I'm a gambling man. It failed. <laughs> you gotta try. Give me some money. Uh, Gain six star coins, lose six, gain a maximum fuel. That's kind of interesting. Or enter the shop. So if six star coins is quite a bit, is 18, like, plenty? Okay, so we have things we can add to our ship, or upon generating a one-point energy, change it into an orange energy. That actually is really good with the weirdness, because we, when we generate a one-point energy with a weak energy source, it'll be a one orange. We could put that orange into the high energy cube. Uh, we, are, we already can. Well, but this gives us the opportunity to put in uh, a low-value white one that we roll and the one orange. That's actually really good. At the start of the turn, if an attack failed last turn, it gains two strength. So a failure is not zero. A failure is actually losing it. When gaining attack units in the shop... Grant them a modification where they have plus two power in battle. If it... W wait. Wait, that's... Oh, as good as this is. It, getting this this early in a run seems broken. When gaining attack units in the shop, grant them a modification where they have plus two power in battle. If at least one energy has been loaded into this, power provides extra strength for this unit this turn. Persist for the whole battle. So, I think I have to... But there's no attack. Ah, God, that's so good. But what if I don't get another shop? There's no attack units here. Fine. I'll take this for now. Treasures have permanent effects in this game. Collect as many as possible. Properly combining treasures and units is also the key to success for season hunters. Spot a vendor selling. Yep. So, if there was, an, if there was a, a weapon I could buy in that shop, I would say absolutely. But that cleans out my money. And uh, there's not the weapon there. Here we go. Energy resource. The energy generated during battle contains two types of energy resources. 
point energy, 1 to 9, and color energy, white, blue, or orange. So there you go. That, that kind of explains it. It's... We will basically draw these. It's kind of like a deck builder, kind of like a, you know, dice builder in a way. Uh, so we have the ability to roll. Let me explain this because this is not a one value white energy, two value white energy. That's not how it is. We will roll between one to five on whatever energy we get. And we're also rolling to determine what... Uh, uh, what energy we've got here. So during battle, three energy is generated each turn with additional one. The first turn you can have up to ten and yeah, at the same time in your hand. Generated during battle is composed of two types. You can have one through nine. So we'll get the ability to change this out through drafting. Like we might be able to delete the ability to roll a one and add the ability to roll a nine. For example, we might delete the ability to roll as many white energies because we want to have more blue, things like that. It's pretty neat. You cherish these lives, but I prefer to taste them, huh? At the start of each turn, three energy will be generated with an extra one energy in the first turn. At the end of each turn, energy will be retained, and the maximum number of energy cannot exceed ten. Shield will take damage first and fully recover every battle. Make good use of the shield. All right, so... Beep. Let's get that one free energy. So I think... We can turn these both into threes, and we're already kind of cooking. The problem we have here is I can't do better than uh, than a six. So I think we, like, I think we'll just lose that one by not that much is the plan. Unless... Hmm. We could turn the three into a five, an orange five. I kind of like that. But we have the pair. We can lower. We definitely want to load a double here. I'm leaning towards uh, just a double three, but we could. I don't know. If I'm willing to. If I'm willing to throw out two fours in the middle, it's a pretty big deal. But I'm leaning towards three, three. Man. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Three, three. I'm willing to take the, the two damage down here for a sec, because I am able to slot in the five plus two and the four plus two for a kind of crazy 13 damage up top. But I do take two shield in the process, but hey, I'm utilizing my shield. It's not health. It's there for a reason. We got him stunned. Cannot move and re recover all. Yep. Each victory in a column reduces by one. When the t it reaches zero, they can't take an action. Yep, 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 yep. So we basically just use that to bump them up. Hmm. Doesn't really matter what column we do anything on. We just kind of want to blast them. I may want to save this one for next turn. So we can bump it. Okay, not bad. Whoo, boy. I think we want to move, uh, get rid of the eights, because our middle is really strong. Okay. So we throw the fours in the middle. Boom. Very good. Yay. Yay! Starcross Fuel, choose a treasure. At the start of the second turn, increase all energy points in your hand by two. Attack units get two extra strength if you load a one point energy. Oh, that's interesting. 
So weak energy source, we can generate a one point energy, one point white energy and put it in the pure white core. So it is a one that has the value of a five. If we get those things, that's kind of interesting. Halftime champagne is very curious. There's, there's a build, there's a build for that, and I know it, but let, let's take this upgrade for now. I'm taking the rares, I'm basically, right now, well, we're kind of new, I'm saying, I trust you, game, I trust you. Got an extra weight. Don't remember when that happened. After the last fight, maybe? Let's get a treasure. Lose far, four far star coins to upgrade a unit. Lose two fuel to gain tilted scale. A draw can also reduce enemies' durability. Wait, that's kind of incredible. Wait, that's really good for a common. What? And it, it, there's some situation. I guess here's the thing. The further in the run you get, the less likely draws probably are. But I really like the idea of that. We, we've been getting a lot of draws. Take a damage to gain three star coins. How's the resource, dude? I'm rich. Call for support. Whenever needed, you can use call for support to shop, repair, fuel, refill. Yep, call. Each call for support chance can only be used once per game, so use it wisely. So this is a really cool thing I like. So instead of like the normal kind of map that you work through and you're like, boy, I hope there's a shop here or there. Once per game, we can say, I need a shop badly. Give me a shop now. And it's like a who wants to be a millionaire lifeline? Like I want to use up my lifeline to get a shop because this is a very opportune time to get a shop. And then you can do the same thing for a fuel refill. Uh, you can either fill up your fuel or repair. Again, once per per run upon reaching zero durability switch to attack mode interesting when facing unbeatable enemies you can choose to temporarily retreat you'll return to the state before the battle started do i think that this is unwinnable couldn't i just move to Am I am I off base for that? Gotcha. So is that you're you're trying to influence me to do that? But why, boss? Well, no, it's just a boss. I, I I think it was just telling me that that existed. Retreat and return to the state before the battle. It's kind of a fun thing that you get to do. I, I do like it. So this is going to be brutal. I think a five and a five in the middle is the best we can kind of squeak out here. Save the three, maybe? This... Yeah, I could have saved these as well. You know what? <laughs> because I forgot about that. I don't know. Can we do that an infinite amount of times? I don't remember. It's kind of really nice if we can, but... Uh, we got to remember... Surely not, right? Surely it's not an infinite amount... ...of uses. But I will slap in these. We'll generate the extra. I don't want the orange point. Uh, we'll accept this. Press end turn. We'll get this boost to all of our stuff. There we go. And now we get to go ham. Upgrade. Upgrade. We have the two sevens. And we can actually win the middle. Pretty huge. 
And we do have to get some actual, like, damage out here. But... Yeah. We'll go for it. We can stun him by blowing up these sides. Because I guess that counts as a win of that lane. I do think a... I think the two fours is the best we're going to get here. So we're going to actually take shield damage. Shock off. And we'll throw out the three. We'll stun him, but it's going to switch into attack mode. He's in vertical slash mode. I think we prefer horizontal slash mode. It looks like it's going to be attack wide instead of attack very specifically in the middle. So I think a cool thing about this is you could see the fight be like, oh, shoot. And then you come back and you readjust. Maybe I throw the pure white core behind this, this up there, something like that. And you could you could mess around with the fight in a different way. But I think we saved the threes. Because we got the stun. We want to kind of want to go ham. But in another way, we could also just grab this, upgrade... I want to keep the white. And then we can... We could either go crazy right now if we think we can get 32 damage. Which I don't think we can do. Or we can wait and play a little bit more defensive and uh, counteract everything he's about to do. Sevens, okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Give me the threes. This has to be the most effective use of those. Okay, we have a six. We get the other six. Boop. And then we just need a seven down here. All right. The tie thing is helping a little bit. Sketchy, but we're okay. Is it another seven? Ooh, we've only got a four in the middle. You all right, buddy? We could uh, we could scooch down for one fuel. I actually like that. I like that a lot. With the fives. The two is a is a no-brainer. So we're already good to go. He's getting stunned. And then we can make up our mind if we want to try and go for a burst or not, depending on what we draw we'll, we'll see okay so he's back to vertical slash mode i think i could probably kill right i think a f two fours in the middle is the best we got yeah we can kill of course we can kill Boop. That's, I don't know, this fight is why I love games like this so much. Is you start and you're like, ah, there's there's no way. This is, there's no way, right? And then you're like, oh, wait, okay. Actually, it's all right. And that right there is why I was happy to sack my HP. We get full HP heal after the boss. We get a treasure. The start of the battle, all shots, slots of the unit in the spaceship center become white. Okay. That's pretty good so that we could basically, we could take this and put it right here, and then the gentle tap device could buff up anything. The end of a showdown, change the energy with the highest point in your hand to orange. It is good, but the pure white core is so valuable. I think that the focus laser is the right call. And we'll just do this for now, because it's probably the most valuable. Oh, 
energy amp. After loading an energy, generate another energy with twice the points of the loaded one. That's pretty good. Try power, gain four power. After loading a total of three energy onto this unit, the effect is triggered. So it's like, um, oh, how do I explain it? It's like in Dicey Dungeons, how some, there's some where you need to put a certain amount of value of pips in. So it's not put three dice, it's put a value of three. So you can put in a two and a one, you can put in a three, you can put in three ones over the course of time. Then it will get that effect. So that might be good. That might be good. After loading a total of three energy on to this unit, the effect is triggered and the loading process will be retained until triggered. It's an attack unit, so it should do damage as well. I feel like I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of tempted, but this is a legendary. It feels like it, it feels like we can't not, right? Oh. Um. The gentle tap is really good for. Ah, man. It's really, really good for just getting evens for the pair core. So, should I replace the high energy cube? Probably not. Yeah, th this instead of this makes it tougher to get pairs, but not not that much. Uh, vacation days six, energy resource upgrade, star coin. There might be a shop there. Stop it. I want to do this. Gain a four point energy resource. Lose one max shield point to gain a five point. Lose two max shield points to get a six point energy. Uh, I'll, I'll take. I'll just take a free four. Nothing wrong with that. That increases my general value a little bit, just like that. We have three days left, so we could go to the things we know, or the randoms that are supposed to be slightly more rare. Fifteen bucks for taking eight damage. Okay, you win a champion prize with your exceptional skills. However, the sharp turn, you nearly burn your engine, indicating your ship would require significant repairs. Star 100, you claim the bounties for the following criminals. So, that is zone one. I believe there's three zones. Upgrade preview, if you want to know what the upgrade effect of a unit is, you can expand the upgrade preview box on the right side. Uh, top right corner indicates whether it can be upgraded. Yeehaw! Upgrade previews down there. Oh, it's in the bottom right. My microphone's covering that up. Binding touch. The enemy can only use the leftmost or rightmost energy in their hand. Oh yeah, yeah. You little devil, yeah. Hey. <laughs> okay. think it's definitely awkward oh it's super awkward I'm leaning towards maybe the fours here. This wouldn't even be better. Yeah. I could have taken the damage. Halftime champagne, you gotta you gotta be doing pretty good early. When this icon appears, the enemy is on the enemy side, they'll launch a fierce attack next turn.
So I think I'm going to need to uh, hit him with the stun. Can't go above nine. So here's the thing. Uh, we blast you. We want to get. We want to get that stun. If you have a powerful attack next turn, uh, the answer is just gonna be no from me. Ten damage until you're dead. We should just be able to kill them. Yeah, I mean, the, the doubler's pretty exceptional. Bye-bye. Huh. Orange Star Diamond. After loading an energy gain, an extra strength that equals the loaded energy point? So just put in an orange and get double? Oh, my lord. That's so good. Mm, okay, so what's the cap of this? Technically, the cap is like 14 if we get perfect rolls normally. Technically, the cap of this is lower. But also, we're, it's unlikely that we're going to get that many white cores. An interesting note is I could slot this in the middle. Or wait, we can... We can this could be white. I could slot this in the middle and we could put in literally anything. I kind of like that... Kind of like that. So this will be uh, an orange star diamond that can actually just be a white star unit. I, I think I'm good. Gain max HP. Just play well and <laughs> it'll be better. On failure, only take one damage. All right. So no point in doing too much overkill. Oh, you poor simp. See, but that's, yeah, that, that's the problem. Mwah. But is that one per? Yeah, but we can also stun. Okay. Ho! Oh. Mamma Mia! I will say I was not expecting uh, a 40 damage blast down the middle. So since we know that 9 is the highest... That'll be the best we can probably do. I think let's just try and kill, right? <laughs> like, I think we might be able to. Or is it? No, wait, wait, wait. When you're on failure on Shockwave Showdown loss. Oh. That was a mistake. That was, that was a mistake for sure. So that means when you're, when you're vulnerable, you take full damage? We needed a third one. All right, we got to we got to take this one slower. The good news is we're uh, just completely fine now. Okay, so we're already good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we just wait to 
see if I'm right that we can do bigger damage. Because they wouldn't make it be that this fight takes that long, right? I'm at a max. I'm at max. Freaking. Yeah, okay. All right. I'll put you out of your misery pretty quick then. All right, we should... Yeah, we definitely could have played that one better. But that's a good example of how the systems can be used in a really interesting way. Like, I really... That was... Um, you had to play that one completely different, and I, I didn't adapt that well. Uh, when loading energy of a certain point for the first time, gain a power. Hmm. When loading energy of a certain point for the first time in battle, a point of energy is uh, the number. That's pretty interesting. It beats the hell out of this, but so does anything. At the start of battle, just gain two temp fuel. I'll take the direct upgrade. Oh, good, it shows. Okay. Gain shield, unit. We have five vacation days. Hit me with this. Get orange star. Wait. Oh, this is orange star diamond. Gain one orange energy resource and remove a white energy resource. Uh, it's so good. I think I shouldn't be playing so much to keep the pure white core in value. I'm willing. I'm willing to do it. We still have the uh, the white energy as well. Gain two fuel. Lose six coins to gain a max fuel. I'm. I've got so much money. So much money that I maybe should go shopping. During showdown, deal damage that equals the current durability to the enemy. During showdown. It's a, okay. Yikes. I think we'll just go in and we'll see. I'm the only true god in this world. Okay. Hmm. So this is actually, this is a tricky one. It's basically playing chicken with me to use a little bit of my value. But if I'm smart about it, I could, we'll only reduce the three. We're not going to play the others. So that, it's playing a little bit of chicken because, yeah, it does damage straight to me. It does unavoidable damage to me there. That? I don't know how I feel about that. So you never attack. Maybe you'll start attacking after. No, your durability is just going to come back. Gotcha. Okay. Um, man. So there's not really a huge point in... Um, Conserving, actually. There's actually no point in conserving. The issue is going to be the fuel. So we take the two for sure. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. So he's going to become broken. Mm -hmm. This has got a pretty good amount of power. Put in the four. Put in the three. I think we put in the four down there. See, it's gaining so much power, like, forever. That's actually really, really good. This is actually incredible.
Mm. I think we just start blasting and we try and kill this turn. We should be able to. But yeah, I'm not much of a, a guaranteed damage g gamer. Not usually a fan of that. Perish. So if I put in a three... So also it's worth noting, power is... um, It's additive. Or like, it, it doesn't matter if I put in another one, I can't get that benefit from power again. It just... If it's firing, it does four, four flat more damage. That's how that works. That's... Maybe not explained... Uh, eh, maybe didn't explain it very well. Beep, beep. Ship weight limit up is really nice. Do I do the gentle tap or do I do another gun? Gain three max HP when gaining attack units in the shop. Hey, there we go. We got there. Modification? Select three units and add one random color slot to one of them. It's going to be random. Hmm. That's tricky. Because I don't really want to do a third one. I really wish it was going to be one of these, but I can't pick. Can't do that. Rip. It could be worse. Select one common unit to lower its highest graded color slot. Select a... Wait, select a legendary unit to... Reduce its... Okay, I could do that. I could do it on the, um... Energy amp. I actually like that. Because then I... If it's only going down one time... That way I can put any kind of energy in there. And this, I can still put any kind of energy in as well. Because it's in the middle, so it's just good. After two turns, switch to accumulation state. Activated under attack state. Hibernate under accumulation state. Gain a power per turn while hibernating. Ooh, boy. So we gotta... Basically, when it's hibernating, it's when we gotta go crazy with it. Okay, I would die at this point. You know what? Should I go back and spend money? <laughs> I think I should shop. All right, attacks get the power bonus. Uh, if energy to be loaded into this is the last one in hand, generate an energy. I think we could do. I think we could do a lot with that. Oh, they have to be oranges. Well, we're pretty good. We have quite a bit of oranges. Each loaded energy can trigger a power bonus. Can trigger a power bonus. Oh, so this is what I was saying, how, you know, the power only gets added once. This is saying power can be added multiple times. Uh, I don't have... Well, actually, wait. It does get the power bonus. So it has two power. Okay. I think we buy all these. I think we buy all those and, and start swapping some stuff out. That's that's better, because it's basically the same thing as the pure white core with the plus two strength because of the uh, the shopping thing. And the each loaded energy can trigger power, except it has three slots, and it does not to be does not need to be a white uh, energy. This de data detector is just better than this one. I don't know. I don't know which slot to pop it in. I feel like that's gonna be better. I 
kind of like that. Mm. That in the middle is pretty interesting. Okay. A little bit wacky. I don't know how I feel about my uh, my locations on these, though. This is great, but it has a max cap that's actually a little bit lower than you'd think, because it only has the one slot. So it might be better to do something like that. This is pretty good. It has three slots, every and everything in it is going to get the plus two. I don't know. We'll see. We'll freaking see. We only get so many dice. All right, if we save the threes to the end, we can get some pretty good value down the middle. An 11 up here. Okay, so... I think we probably end up moving up. Right? I think we do. Okay, I like that. We don't need to worry about any kind of doubles. Detection passed. Um, as nothing as it is, I think we maybe just chill out on this one. So we can be more likely to break durability next time. Hubba, hubba. All right. Um, kind of like to. I like to double to five. Feels pretty, pretty useful usually. We're already just fine in the middle. 14 up top. It's a little bit dicey, but we can throw the six. Oh, wait. I need to put in a, maybe a four. All right. Now this is a little bit goofy. A five. Huh. Too close for comfort. Too close for comfort, but we had it. We had it good. Charging. After this ship takes 20 showdown damage, change it back to attack state. Interesting, interesting. Gain one power per turn is not that scary. He says now, <laughs> knowing full freaking well that's going to be a problem. But maybe I'll let him hibernate a turn. It's definitely value to... Um, to let him gain it once and then overflow it right here. Oh. Oh, okay. I see. So you will attack. All right. I still think that that's the right call. All right, we have five. We want to kind of put a five, seven, eight, nine. All 
Throw in the five. Love it. We can just kill, can't we? <laughs> oh yeah, we can do, we can absolutely kill. I I have so much dang damage. Oh. Beefed it. I was just trying to get a number that I hadn't put in. There we go. That's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. All right. Boop, boop, boop. After a slot is loaded with energy, its color will degrade. Oh, that's pretty good. Upon generating a white energy, increase its point by one. It's honestly, not bad. But I'm using... I, I'm not using it that way, really. When the unit behind this loads a white energy... This loads an identical energy one... It loads an identical energy one more time. Is pretty good. When any attack unit loads an energy that's above or equal to five points, this unit gains three strength. That's so good for us. Fuel. Give me that upgrade. Select one unit and copy the highest graded color slot. I mean... That's pretty silly. Unknown. Star coin. I mean, maybe we can get like a... Lose three to restore 12 HP. I'm at full. Take three damage, gain 12. Say less. I'm having a tough time figuring out what I'd want to uh, swap out, though. The fact that that's not a, um, it's not purchased from the shop means it doesn't get the two power, which does take the value down a little bit. I think I could probably take away one of my support tools. These two together are pretty good. It's a, it's an extra, draw an extra three value orange every turn, which is a big deal. That gentle tap is really, is gentle tap doing that much? Is it doing that much? I wish that it wasn't hit with the random slot. Is it doing that much? Th these, I feel like I have to. Just gives us such a useful... Stop at that. I, I know. Anytime I, I want to think for a second about strategy, you're like, come on, go. Go read the tutorial. After loading an energy, generate another energy point. There's one point higher. I think it is better. Didn't read your ability. When an enemy loads energy with the same points as this unit, remove the corresponding energy from this unit. So four, five, and a six. That's that's so scary. Oh my god. All right. We get this. We turn it into threes. So I think we... Oh. We have to we have to play it safe there. Okay. The middle I'm not that worried about. I think I probably end up waiting and get these uh, plus two. Well, but then I can't use con uh, consecution makes it so I don't get a lot of value from holding stuff
Aw. <laughs> okay. I mean, I could hold this one, I suppose. I could just do a staggering amount of damage as well. I think we hold we, we hold the one. It's tough to not want to just do big number funny. Seven, eight, nine. Ooh. I've heard that joke. The good news is we can get there. Seven. Nine. Eight. <laughs> Send you to hell. Stop, he's already dead. Boom. Next. After loading an energy, if the energy points are equal to or less than three, gain strength equal to the loaded energy points. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I can't deny. After loading an energy, all nearby units. I don't think I'm going to take either of these. Directional uh, effects nearby. Nearby is boop. Front is in front. Back is behind. Yep, yep. I love when they show this because it. Some games don't, and then you're like, okay, well, it just it makes a it just it janks it up. Remove a white energy source. Uh, you know, yeah, probably right. The one doesn't bother me that much because we could just throw it in the high energy cube. It's not a big deal. So we are m more likely to roll a blue or orange than a white at this point, which after enemy loads energy in hand, all of your units rotate clockwise. Oh, that's right. This guy is a brain melter. Rotate clockwise? Yeah. I think right now we just start doing... Oh, th this isn't that bad. When it's when it's sixes in the corners like this, it's not that bad. When he picks some random ones, trust me, it gets a little bit goofy. <laughs> I think right now we just say, all right, let's go ham. I don't think we really, I don't think we mess. We'll do that, and then we'll try and end on an odd, I suppose, right? Okay, we could, we could already just leave it at that, and I think we do. Else we rotate it so that the middle's not as uh, attacked. This, this is a more advantageous spot, and then we can also save the four for next turn. And we can't throw it in the consecution anyways, which is where it's more valuable. Okay, so yeah, this is a little bit more confusing, but I think we're fine. Neat. Whoop. We double the five into a nine. I mean, it's not much better than doubling a four. I will say. It's fine. All right. Throw in the nine. So the thing is, pallet and um. Oh god, it's it. Pallet mixed with the fact that we have so many oranges is. I don't know. All it, it it guarantees that eventually we can use anything in anything. But there's gonna be there's a certain point of redundancy, like a couple turns in the fight. I think that's fine though. I don't think that's a big deal. All right, what do we want to bump?
gonna want to put some stuff down here. Oh god. Burp. We're we're good anyways, no matter what. We should be able to do 10 damage in a turn. If we can't, we probably shouldn't be playing anymore. Boop. 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 Stop, he's already dead. Crap. When generating an orange energy, orange energy within a turn, gain a strength. The thing is, the fact that these... Whenever any unit is initiated, gain a power. Wait, that's actually really good. I initiate every turn. But it doesn't get the two free powers. So it's like, on turn two, it's equal to the benefit that the other things get just from the fact that I went shopping for them. So it's not... I don't actually think it's that good. Uh, we have how many days? Six. Move an upgrade. Exclusive to human. Lose 12 star coins to get... Select two random units to upgrade. Or select a legendary to upgrade. What's the upgrade for this? It gives an extra slot. Great for this. An extra slot. I mean... Another double is a pretty big deal. Select two random units? They both got randomly upgraded? That wasn't random at all. <laughs> I'm not complaining. <laughs> that was not... I would not call that random. Select a unit display. If it has three or more slots, gain a treasure. If it has no slots, get six star coins. If it's a legendary, get a rare unit. Um, I'll take a treasure. At the start of battle, all the colors of all support units slots degrade. That's so good. But again, we're kind of at the point now where it's like, I am doing fine it no matter what. After loading all other units with chain load the same energy. Is that your whole deal? On failure, take double damage. Okay. So yeah, the goal is definitely going to be to slot in um, the numbers, high value numbers up top. Uh, we could like back out and readjust our ship accordingly, but I think I'm good. I, th I, I don't think I have to. So like we could be like, oh yeah, we should put in the ones. I don't think I necessarily want to do that right now. I think what we want to do is we want to put in the nine and we want to put in the eight. knowing full well that we lose a little bit of value in the middle here. All right. A little bit spooky. A little bit spooky. We don't get to save anything. But we're also charging up the top laser. And we can also, also just move. You know? That's another, that's another thing we can do. Just, just freaking leave. <laughs> I think a seven up top is a is a good call. A six is pretty good too. Yeah, sure. Screw it. Uh, actually. Forgot about that. Should have saved it when he's, uh... Wait. On failure, take double damage. It's not on paralyzed. It's on failure. Hmm. 
It's a little bit goofy. Do I just save? It's, are you taking double damage now? It says on failure. Take double damage. It should it should it should not be right now. I would assume it's not. But again, Consecution makes it so it's like it's a pretty good call to kind of just to go ham. Oh, we kill. No, it's it's here. <laughs> Wait. No, no, we're just doing that much. We actually are just doing that much. That's crazy. We are we are too strong. <laughs> Ship weight limit up. If all three columns claim victory, reduce the enemy's durability by an extra point. There is some fights where that really helps. The end of a showdown, change the energy with the highest point. It's so irrelevant to us at this point. We don't care about that anymore. Treasure, maybe. Oh, let's take an upgrade. Upgrade a high... Wait, upgrade high energy cube and data detector. An orange four point and data detector becomes what? Oh, it only requires a, two white slots. I don't really care about that. Choose three non-upgraded. Bit of a chance to now upgrade. I don't care. Uh. <laughs> you know what? None of my upgrades are actually very good for me. I guess I'll do that. Okay, that's fine. I don't, I don't really care. Lose two star coins, recover HP. Lose four star coins, select a unit to upgrade. All right. There we go. Boss, final boss, theoretically. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Huh... Strength is temp power, basically. I think that could be good. Kinetic core could be good because it, it ramps up over the fight. If this is the final boss, I might as well do this. Wait. Whatever. <laughs> it might not be the final boss, but I, I'm prepared for it to. No I'm prepared for it to not be. It, it sure sounds like it. Okay. Is this what I want? The question is whether or not these are the right locales for them. The bottom is the weakest by a country mile. Possess six strength permanently can be activated or hibernated by order. So you're just like a crazy value, right? That's your whole thing. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think that the... I think that, um... That? Or you know what? This doesn't need anything in its row. Yeah, that's pretty good. The question is, which one of these do we swap? This is totally fine. I forgot that this has three slots now. 
I love that you can do that. I just, I love that you can do that. I don't know if there's a limit on it or what. Okay. Let's think. So as far as early things go, getting the this big boy generating is good. We want to do value over five. So part of me wants to put in a five and a six. Well, but then this is overflowing. Do I do I change this one final time? This doesn't need... Because this row doesn't need that much help. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Alright. Uh, five. We'll throw maybe the six. Just for now. It's a, it's all a little bit weird. We don't have enough uh, dice generation to make full value out of what we have here. The bottom row is sad. The, ah, we're, we're beefing it. We're beefing it. We're beefing it. Let's think. I think that the bottom row is just too sad. This is going to, on average, it's going to get at least like six free strength. I think that this is better. There's even a world where I could do something like that. It's just, it's all so goofy. I'm glad we can re redo it. I don't want to, I'm not going to do it any more times. This is a no-brainer. I think we care too much, cared too much about the data detector though, and I just wanted to say no. Don't don't care so much about that. Let's get our five. This does have a slot. Okay, good. Alright. So we have the nine, but I do think that popping this is a good call. It's just a nice instant uh value there. I think we get an 8, so we can put an 8 into here. I don't mind that. This has got another 3 points because of it. Um, I can't get another 5, though. It's just a problem. Alright, wait a sec. Alright, cool. We did get another 5. Oof. Too tight. Too tight. We do get a ramp up a little bit. So gathering a powerful attack for your next turn. I mean, thank God you just chill a little bit. Because, yeah, I can't... Um, can't do that much. I, I needed more dice g generation. That's what I really needed. But I didn't come across too much of that. There was definitely some. I'll tell you one thing for sure is that I want to pop all of the rows. just makes sense to throw these in consecution and then we could save this one five is the the funky thing just try and uh, protect us a little bit more because i'm not gonna be able to fill up all my slots anyways so we might as well do that holy crap Goal, just freaking live, dude. Just freaking live. This is a nightmare. There's not even much gain from moving. Because I don't think we can move twice. Nope. But I do like this better, because I think we can do pretty well in the middle. I think the top's pretty good too, though. I don't know. It's it's jank. 
Or no, it's just that you can only move once. All right. I mean, let's get cooking, I guess, because this is crazy. We just need to live this hit. That's the whole thing. Just need to live this hit. I'm almost, I'm almost uh, alive anyways, or already. We, we're completely fine in the middle. The bottom is the scary part. Okay. And by completely fine in the middle, I mean like, I can be. I'm already alive, which frankly is perplexing. So I think I'd rather take taking 4 minus 10, 4 minus 8. There is a better way to do this. There is a better way to do this, and I'm sure of it. But the fact that I'm just alive and he has to recharge is is great. Okay, he doesn't have to recharge. But he's recharging his, his massive attack, so we are fine-ish. All right. I do like a four here. Okay. Drop the eight. He's already getting stunned. Okay. Well, we might as well consecution. All right, chill. Big moment. And by big moment, I mean if we uh, if we don't have this, then uh oh. Okay, we have the. Th I could put down the three. The two and the three are like not bad uses up here. And then I do think we throw down the eights in here. They're just really good value if we're just looking for high number, and that's it. Oh, blessed day. Get bodied. Whoop. That is a uh, that is a win. We've unlocked a bunch of new characters. And another new character. We did not unlock the new ship. We were one away from that. Right? Right? Yeah. Let me just see. You can now choose your pilot. Every time there will be three random pilots to choose from. All pilots have unique inherent talents and random talents uh, requiring association levels to unlock. So playing them more will unlock that. You can use reroll re chances to reselect pilots. Reroll chances are primarily earned through each playthrough. In the meantime, you have the option to designate a specific pilot for a guaranteed appearance as well. So yeah, we have all these. You can see they all have their own unique passives. Uh, Repair Master Dong Dong. Uh, they have their unique passives. They also have like a race, which you saw there were some events where unique event options show up based off the race. It's really neat, man. When restoring health, gain the same amount of star coins. Like inside the shop, you could steal an item for free. Like you can see, they're pretty major. Um, Pretty... Pretty freaking major things. So we can basically just pick who we have anyways. But I do believe, yeah, when we hit level five or whatever, then there's random talents that can show up. So like you might be like, I want to play this character, but this one has a pretty good RNG role on it. So maybe that's actually better than the thing I just, I wanted to play. It's super cool. God, I hope you guys want me to play more of this because I really love it. 
My only issue, maybe runs are a little bit long, but I had to do extra tutorializing stuff, and as you play more, you get more used to it, but... God, it's so good. It's so good. Alas, alas, that's that. This is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Rogue Likes and more every single day. If you'd be sad to see a series not happen, you got to let me know in the form of a comment down below. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.